One is a medium action, one's a medium light. <laughs> that is as much as I vary with my spinning tackle setup. So for me, as a professional angler, fishing all across the country, all the different places that I do, Welcome back, we're here in the garage and want to give kind of a tip. We've done one on bait casters, like pick three or pick four bait cast rod and reels. Um, you know, for somebody, whether you're a beginning angler or somebody that's been at it a long time to help you go through that. This one's going to be the spinning version of that. And I'll be honest with you, this one's only a pick two because in my spinning reel fishing, spinning rod fishing, I keep it extremely, extremely simple. Um, I've got two here that I use basically all the time. There is a third that I will, you know, on occasion add into this, but these two spinning rod setups, they do it for me. I mean, they do everything I need to do. And, and you know, thinking about this a little bit before we actually get into the, you know, the models of what these exact ones are, if you consider most of your fishing with spinning tackle versus your fishing with bait casting tackle, it's all generally light line. You know, I'm using, I use 10 pound braid, I use an eight, 10 or 12 pound leader. Um, so it's all generally light line. It's generally smaller, more lightweight baits or soft plastics of some type. So you don't have the variety that you do with bait casters. I'm not using something from a, you know, a small crankbait up to a flipping jig, to a frog, to a Carolina rig. You know, you're not covering nearly as much of the spectrum with a spinning rod like you do a bait caster. So that's why I think, you know, I mean, for me as a professional, I use no more than three ever, but these two basically get it done all the time. So without further ado, here's what they are. Same exact rod, uh, length, same reel. This is the reel I always use for every uh, spinning application is this size. I will use it in a carbon light some, and that is the only difference um, away from this. But a Johnny Morse Platinum rod, this is a seven foot, one inch, which is the exact same as the other one. Both of them are seven foot, one inch. One is a medium action, one's a medium light. <laughs> that is as much as I vary with my spinning tackle setup. So for me as a professional angler, fishing all across the country, all the different places that I do, a seven one, medium or medium light. That's it, that's all I vary. Like I said, 10 pound Bass Pro Hyper Braid, I never vary from that, never ever. I use either an eight pound XPS fluorocarbon leader 10 or 12, like when we were on a place like Lake Fork, catching really big ones on a wacky rig or something like that, um, I'll use 12. If the water's dirty at Lake Champlain, I'll use 12 if I can get away with it. Um, 10 is probably my best all around, and then I'll drop down to eight in those clear water, you know, I'm thinking smallmouth type situations. Um, but yeah, the medium action is the one I use a lot. I probably use it the most for uh, I actually had a drop shot tied on that one because I was fishing around some heavy cover on Lake Champlain. I use a medium action for uh, my wacky rigs. I use that for my Nico rigs. But generally speaking, when I'm gonna be using that medium light as for a drop shot, as for a, uh, I'll use a Ned rig on the medium typically more, um, unless it's a real lightweight and I really want um, you know lighter line, then I'll drop down to that medium light. But the medium light for a little bit softer stuff, or if I'm throwing something with treble hooks, something like a spy bait or a hair jig, that doesn't have a treble hook, but um, something that I want a little bit softer rod with, that's what I'm gonna drop down to that medium light. Your drop shots, your spy baits, your hair jigs, that type of stuff. But that 7-1, that's a length that I'm comfortable with, whether I'm out in open water, or if I'm up around targets, you know, skipping that under docks or whatever I may have, I'm just very, very comfortable with that length of spinning rod. I think that it's important, um, you know, with that braid that you get used to something and you're very comfortable with it. Same deal with that size reel. That's why I always use that size 30 spinning reel. Um, you know, and guys may say, well, man, I fish a lot of open water, you know, fish a lot of, of the Great Lakes. I make a long cast with a, you know, maybe a tube or a drop shot or whatever it is catch a lot of fish a long way away from the boat. Man, the great thing with that braid, if that fish is underneath the boat, or if it's, you know, 100 feet out and 30 feet down, it's the same exact hook set. You reel up, you get the line tight, you drive the hook into that fish because that braid has no stretch in it. The only stretch that you have a little bit is in that fluorocarbon leader, so. Man, I hope this helps. Um, yeah, for me as a professional angler, two, never more than three different spinning rod combos is what I use all across the country. And it's a 7-1 medium light or medium action. Groundbreaking stuff uh, here in the garage today. But I hope this helps you 
when you're going out to Bass Pro to pick out your next spinning rod setup.